Hello, welcome to the video for what is interpolation T interp. T interp stands for transform interpolation. There is only one T interp node right now. It is the T interp 2. There is no constant version, so this one will have easing in and out. And it's intended to take a transform and then interpolate to another transform. So for my example here, if we watch our little cube, it's going to pick a new position rotation, and scale, which are all three parts of our transform, and then smoothly move towards it. And the nice thing about using an interpolation instead of like a fixed movement over time is you'll notice I, in the middle of moving, I can click and basically have a bounce back and forth between different targets. So to cover the basics, the T interp expects the current value, which is our actor's transform that we're using, the target, which is a random transform that I'm creating, our delta, which is basically the distance along that point in 0 to 1. And then our interp speed, which is a multiplier against the delta. So for this example, I'm basically creating a new transform here by splitting the struct and creating a bunch of random values to put into it. And then I'm moving it every tick. Keep in mind, when you're doing the interpolation, not like a lerp, it needs the current value to change every time you call it or else it is not going to move. Because again, it is an interpolation between the current position and the goal, not a starting position and an endpoint. So that is it. That's all there is for a T interp2 node. It is the transform interpolation node. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.